Welcome to Heritage Quest Helper Part 2, Searching Books. First click Search, then Search Books, we have multiple options. The first thing that we'll do is go to Publications. And what you can do with this search is to find a specific title, search for a particular author, or if you're looking for a book that focuses on a surname you're searching, a good thing to do is to put the surname in the subject field. I'm searching for the name Fancher, and then click Submit. So there are two hits. The one that looks the most promising is the Fancher family, so click that. And a good thing to do, instead of starting with keyword searching, is to look in the index, if there is an index in the book. So we'll do that. So this index is in alphabetical order, and I'm just going to skip ahead because I know the section that I want to find. I'm going to look for the name George Fancher. So here we are in the Fancher section. And there are a number of Georges. We're looking for George Washington Fancher, so I'm going to see if there's an entry for that name. So I see two entries for George Washington Fancher. Just going to go back. And what you could do, since we saw the page numbers there, I'm going to choose page 89 and click search. Here's page 89 of the book. I'm going to click record. So here's George Washington Fancher's entry. You can see he is the son of Edmund Mead Fancher and Jane L. Gates. Um, he was born September 3rd, 1846. He died in Silver Lake, New York in 1923. It gives his first and second wife's names. Um, it gives that he was a dentist and he was a member of the Odd Fellows. It says that he has six children. So next I'm going to show you a different way to search for George. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to where we had different choices here. We searched previously the publication section. So now I'm going to search the people section. So here's where you can search for people's names across the entire book collection. There are around 28,000 family and local history books in Heritage Quest. So these are good terms to search for. I put in his first and last name. I made them exact, George Fancher. I put a place where I knew he lived, Cattaraugus County, New York. And then I also put in, in the keyword field, the maiden name of his spouse, which was Livermore. And I'm going to search. We got one hit, which is the historical and biographical history of the township of Dayton, Cattaraugus County, New York. To view it, you click the picture. And it's a bit dark, but we do find a picture of George. And we get a nice overview about his life. I will caution you a little bit about books. Uh, these local histories, they were sold by subscription. So if you could pay for the subscription, you could get yourself put in the book. So there wasn't necessarily any research done. Um, this is, these are usually accounts by the individuals um, and their families. And one of the things here that stood out to me um, is that 
it says that Mr. Fancher traces his ancestry back to one of the soldiers of the Marquis de Lafayette who came from France with that famous hero and fought for the independence of the American colonies and who after the close of the war settled in the United States. Um, there's a lot of other information like it's factual data about where um, he grew up and his wife's name and his children's names and their date of birth and those things i think are likely correct um, but the information about the history of his family and the marquis de lafayette that's something that you know you want to think about you know that's not something that he knew firsthand so those are things you want to question and researching this family uh, that statement is not true. He did have ancestors that fought in the Revolutionary War, but um, his family did not come over to fight with the Marquis de Lafayette. They were in the country decades before the Revolutionary War occurred. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you look at these family history books. So I'm going to go back and try some other search strategies. The next search strategy that I'm trying is the same section, the people search. This time I'm going to try to search for his spouse, Callista Livermore. I made Livermore exact. The location again is Cattaraugus County, New York. And I put George's last name, Fancher, in the keyword field and made it exact. And here you can see we got two different searches. So it's kind of funny that the first book we looked at, that Fancher family book, didn't come up when we searched for George Fancher, but it does come up when we search for his wife, Callista. And there's also another book that came up that is on the Livermore family, which is Callista's last name. Um, so, you know, definitely try both names. You might even try the children's names, try different search terms and see what combinations work best for you. Another section of the book collection are city directories. This has the same collection of United States city directories that Ancestry.com or Ancestry Library Edition has. There are city directories for all over the U.S. The date range is mainly from 1860 up until 1960. And um, there are Buffalo City directories for around that time frame. I'm going to search for Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain, when he lived in the city of Buffalo. So I have put his name in, Samuel Clemens, and I put the location to Buffalo. And it's good to make the location exact if you know the city that they lived in. So I made exact to Buffalo and Erie County. And uh, it's good to put a year range. So I put 1870 plus or minus two years. And then you click search. And you can see I got two hits here that look promising. I'm going to select the first one. So you click view record. Gives a transcription of some of the information. And it says 472 Delaware Avenue, which I know that's where he lived. To see the image, you click View. And it will highlight the entry that you're looking for. I'll zoom in. And there he is, Samuel L. Clemens, uh, 472 Delaware Avenue. The H means that he owned the home that he was living in. Once you're in the directories, if you want to, say, jump around to different years and just browse directories yourself, you can do so at the top of the screen. So you could change any of these details. You could choose a different year to search for the Buffalo directories. And you could just browse page by page if you wanted to. That put me in the first page of the Buffalo 1863 directory. You could change the city. 
granted that all these different locations in New York State, there are many for Western New York. Uh, you could change the state if you wanted to, so you can see all of those different locations listed there. Next, we'll look at searching for a particular address in a city directory. Many people are researching the history of their home or business property, and this is one way that you can find out who or what business was formerly at their address. So what you want to do is you want to put in the location. So here I've chosen Buffalo. You want to make it exact. And then in the keyword field, you put in the address. So I'm searching for 76 Pearl, which is where the Pearl Street Grill is now. And you don't want to put in the street avenue. You just want to put in the street number and the street name and put make that exact. And then you want to put the year range that you're interested in. So I put 1878 plus or minus five years. And then you click search. And then it shows you a number of hits. Sometimes you will get some false hits. But what you can do is to make sure it's a correct hit, you can hover over where it says view record and um, it'll give you uh, the street address so you can see if it's the right address because what it might do is it might pick out the number 76 and the world word pearl on the same city directory page but they may not be combined to view the record you can click see more and then you can view so the entry in question falls under this category, hides, tanners, oil, etc. And if you we just scroll up to the top of the page, you'll see the business was called Laub and Zeller at 76 Pearl Street. Thank you for joining us for Searching Books in Heritage Quest.